Is Call of Duty conducting modern warfare against your hard drive? Well, today we fight back. The intro was so bad. So this trick has actually been out a few months now, but with one of the patches earlier this year, there's actually a way to uninstall game modes now that you don't currently use. So I decided to try uninstalling some game modes to see exactly how much free space you can expect to gain back. And quite frankly, it's significant. So let's get into it. All right, so first things first is you do wanna make sure that you have Battle.net and Modern Warfare is updated to the latest patch um, so that you're ready to go. So I'm starting out with 118 gigs of free space on the D drive where the game's installed. We are up to date, and so now we're going to click on Options, and then go to Modify Install. Once that opens up, we're going to click on Modify Install again, and I'm going to start off by removing Campaign. So let's uncheck the box, and then click on Confirm. Looks like we're going to save about 35 gigs worth of space here. Then click on Start Update, and then also click on Update again. Now this process took a good 10 minutes on a mechanical spinning drive. I did do this on another system as well, and it went much faster when the game is on an SSD. So we're just going to speed through this. All right, and now that it's done, uh, you're actually ready to play, only the campaign mode is uninstalled. So if we go ahead and check our free space, we went from 114 gigs up to 202 gigs of free space. So quite a significant jump in free space. So now let's try this again, but let's go ahead and uninstall some more game modes. So we're gonna follow the same process, and I'm actually gonna uninstall everything except for multiplayer, and Warzone is installed by default. So same process, go ahead and click on Start Update, and click Update again and let it do its flashy red little bar thing, and we'll get to the install here in just a second. All right, and now that that is complete, we're gonna go ahead and check again our free space, and we are now up to 236 gigs of free space. So all together by uninstalling everything except for the two game modes we use, we're up to 236 gigs of free space. So as you can see, you can get quite a bit of free space back from just uninstalling game modes that you're not using. Um, I don't know anyone that's gonna go through the Call of Duty campaign eight or 10 times, so once you kind of finish that, there's not really a need to have it anymore. Um, Warzone downloads the entire thing, so just not installing all the extra game modes you may not have a license key for, also a good idea. Uh, but like I said, especially if you got a 500 gig drive like I did on that one machine, because it is uh, something that we threw together, the hard drive came with it, I didn't want to waste it, so I just used it. But when you're trying to sell something like that and Call of Duty is 250 gigs of the you know, it's basically half of the drive space. So uninstalling that really shows that, hey, if I'm only playing these couple free games, I still got a lot of uh, storage that I can use to install either more free games or, you know, be able to do the updates because for whatever reason, game developers decided 20 gig updates are fine. So rip everyone in the middle of the country that has shitty internet. Sorry. But like I said, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure you leave a like, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the way out, leave a comment. Uh, the one thing I haven't seen is whether or not the updates actually get smaller because you only have a couple of game modes, but we'll wait and see and see if I don't have another 35 gig update or something like that. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.